just entered into a monogamous relationship with someone who broke my trust two years ago and has since apologized profusely and asked for a second chance. I'm having difficulty trusting him. Can trust ever be repaired? It's a great question. Is that a great question? And would you like to add to it? Well, we've been, that had just happened when I uh, wrote that email that we became monogamous <clears throat> in the relationship. And since that has happened, um, we've not spoken on the phone. I haven't seen him. It's been almost two weeks. Yes. So the trust is that I thought I had built, or he tried to build up over the last couple of months is essentially gone again. And so I'm kind of in a different place now than I was last week. And that place is? I don't trust him. I don't, I don't understand what's going on and why he would work so hard to try to regain my trust. And then we enter into this relationship and then he kind of disappears. So I no longer trust him again. It's mm -hmm. like back to mm -hmm. ground zero. Is this kind of experience something you've experienced before? It is, and that's why the question came up last week, because it was literally a day after we'd um, made this agreement, and all of those feelings came up inside of me that I hadn't felt in a couple of years because I hadn't been in a relationship, all this insecurity, and you know, I hadn't heard from him, and you know, just dumb things, but they all came up, and it was a little overwhelming. So the, the uh, let's call it the dynamic of trust has been an issue for some time now. Yes. And can you relate that back in your history any further? Are there other people you don't trust or? Oh yeah, there's a lot of people. A lot of people. <laughs> I think we're onto something. <laughs> <laughs> so it would be fair to say then that trust is an issue for you? Yes, it is. So if you were to consider the possibility that for some reason inside of you, you have a reluctance to trust, do you have any sense of what that might be based upon? Was there somebody going back uh, into childhood or, some, uh, or perhaps even further that something happened and your response was, oh my God, I can't, I can't trust in this. Something along those lines. Well, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I, I didn't have the greatest um, childhood, so and I, I don't think I ever really trusted that I was ever in a real safe place for probably my entire childhood. Okay. So, so just let's be clear. Feelings and thoughts and beliefs and behaviors are all part of earthly reality. Part of the challenge that a lot of people have, I'm not saying you do, mm -hmm. but just in general, is that that's who they identify themselves with as opposed to the being that lives within them who exists on the, in spiritual reality, whose nature and essence is simply love. That's all it is, that's all it knows. Some systems would refer to that as the soul. The more that you get in touch with who you are, that divine being inside, the more the issue of trust will simply reside because that one will begin directing your life. It's totally and completely trustworthy. Build your trust in that <coughs> rather than the things that happen in earthly reality. I'm not a big Bible scholar, but I think in there it says something like, or somebody said, <laughs> 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 something like, <laughs> don't store your treasure on earth where it's going to gather dust and be corrupted or whatever. Store your treasure in heaven. See, and when you understand that from the point of view of spiritual reality, you understand the wisdom in that approach. What they're really saying is, begin to build trust in the part inside of you that's the divine being having the earthly experience and make your decisions from that place. So you'll be, believe me, you'll be doing a lot of that in the next two years. I'm looking forward to it.
there's a significant element of the work that we do at USM that we call the healing of memories. The healing of memories. And when you speak about this issue in the area of trust, I hear you saying it's been lifelong. <laughs> Began very early. It's uh, played out repeatedly in relationships of various kinds and various experiences. So this whole opportunity to really trust yourself, but what self inside will you trust? And that's really what Ron is referring mm -hmm. to. It's like you, the, the soul essence self, to awaken more fully in your consciousness so that you're more connected with that and you trust the loving inside yourself. You trust the spirit within you. You trust the God inside of you. And you're awake enough and connected enough with that that you can bring the hurt and the misunderstandings, the pains of those past experiences where you <coughs> um, experienced situations or other people as untrustworthy and you developed mistrust as you bring the loving and the compassion and the forgiveness to that, that mistrust and that doubt will dissolve. And you will reside in the center of the loving inside yourself. You'll know who you are, and it will no longer be an issue. At USM, refer to that, we refer to that as the authentic self. Mm. Authentic as in the author who is orchestrating this whole earthly existence to begin with. And you're going to be engaging in many, many processes and approaches that will be designed to assist you in the healing of this, this pattern, which I hear has been lifelong. Mm -hmm. The greatest part of the healing really is the, it's the compassion. It's connecting up with the loving inside of you. That's connecting up with who you are. And it will begin to have compassion for yourself at all the ages and stages, at every experience that you went through. And as you bring the loving to those memories and to those younger ones inside you that went through those experiences, the healing occurs. And it's like your attunement gets better. Your natural knowing operates more effectively. You're able to discern more readily between what's trustworthy and what's not. Mm -hmm. okay. And you will have learned the lesson of self-trust. Okay, great. Thank you for sharing. Thank you.